the uh, the plane ready and uh, that includes um, a number of things. Today um, I thought I'd just make it a bit easier in myself for a flight to Perth tomorrow um, and uh, just do um, a few little things um, prior to tomorrow's pre-flight. So um, mainly the, the two things I wanted to get done were the um, cleaning of the windscreen and um, also the um, topping up of the oil. Uh, windscreens are a Perspex windscreen and it really um, scratches easily so the first thing I have to do is uh, to apply water to get the, uh, the thin layer of dust off and make sure that there's nothing left on the, um, the windscreen to scratch the Perspex and then the um, second stage um, is to uh, uh, use the special spray. It's a special foam that we use on um, aircraft's Perspex and together with uh, one of those really soft microfiber uh, rags and um, we use uh, that then to get rid of all the, the bugs and all the marks and everything else. For, for flying we have to um, make sure that um, the windscreens are always uh, clean uh, because um, we have to make um, fairly important judgments in terms of our height and, and all that sort of thing and the dirty windscreen uh, certainly doesn't help. Of course also um, with regard to coming into an airfield if uh, there's uh, a fair bit of glare the last thing you want is a, a dirty windscreen that really uh, does hinder uh, working out uh, exactly where we need to begin to flare the aircraft in, in, order, to, in order to land. Uh, ordinarily, with regard to uh, oil, um, we um, go through about um, a litre every 10 hours. That's considered to be pretty standard. If um, you're going through much more than that, um, then um, you, you, you can get um, concerned. Um, the the uh, engineers themselves um, say, you know, 10 to 12 hours on, on, on one litre is, is uh, quite good. Uh, anything more than that, um, yeah, you need to start getting things checked out. The um, actual filler is well underneath the, the top of the cowling there, so uh, ordinarily you'd um, really spill oil all over the place. So what I'm putting on to the, um, the top of the uh, bottle is a special extension with a little tap on it. So I'm able to turn the tap off and then get the extension into the filler and then when I'm ready I just turn that tap around and uh, it flows through. So um, that's proven to be a, a really handy um, little extra to have uh, to uh, get things done on the aircraft without making a big mess. Of course um, as with any anything even with cars after you've filled it up you just do a double check uh, make sure that um, everything is the way it, uh, it should be and that you've got the uh, the correct level. Tomorrow I'll, I'll double check that after it's had to, time to properly settle uh, but what I saw just then just gives me a little bit of an idea that yep it's not over full and then uh, I'm set to go. Time now to just simply um, pack it up. The milk crate is very handy, it's very light. I use it um, as a storage thing during flight but um, for uh, refueling uh, out of bladders or uh, cleaning windscreens and that it's handy to just invert and, and to use as, as a little stool and it gets me up to the height that I need need to be without the need for carrying a, a ladder or anything like that so that's, um, that's really handy. We uh, not only lock the aircraft at the door but we're required by CASA to have uh, control locks so there's um, a lock on the throttle which um, prevents anyone, if, even if they broke in, to be able to control the aircraft. And then of course um, there's the precaution with the hangar, extra layer of security, as well as protection of the aircraft. Um, it's going to be really good to have um, the, uh, the, the aircraft hangered in the, in the heat coming up summer. Um, these big doors act like sails in a high wind. Uh, Council of just the um, told me they're going to put uh, special wheels on the bottom of those doors with a brake on them so that um, if the wind gets a hold of them um, instead of uh, the danger of being uh, pushed against the uh, the, the big uh, stops there, the, the poles that um, I'll be able to put a brake on and stop the doors from getting away from me. So there it is, um, that all took around about 10-15 uh, minutes um, just to do a quick little uh, 
top up of the oil and cleaning of the windscreen. Tomorrow will take about 15 minutes to do a pre-flight, just walk around the aircraft and uh, check things and also check the uh, fuel for water.